What's up guys, Felipe here bringing you another haircut video and in this haircut I will be doing a low skin fade and I don't really know how to explain the top to be honest with you um, but essentially it'll be a comb over but without a part. It likes to kind of like swoosh everything to the front and over to the side. I am doing this fade a little bit different than usual. Actually this is the first time I'm ever trying to do a fade like this. Essentially, it's, I'm pretty much doing the same method and the same technique, but I'm using a different clipper, different guards. I saw somebody do a, vi a haircut with the Oscar Octanes using a triple zero, and then they put on a universal guard on it, which I never saw that before, so I figured I'd give it a try. So half the fade is with the detachable clipper, and then half the fade is with the fading clipper. I did do the beard trim, but I did not add it to this video. So before we begin, please subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video. It's always a good idea to just comb everything through just to make sure everything is uh, sitting where it should be. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that bottom guideline. I am doing a very, very low skin fade, and so I'm gonna use the ear as reference. So whatever, uh, wherever the hairline is behind the ear, I'm gonna use that, and I'm just gonna dip it down um, towards the back, connect everything on the other side. Just uh, keep in mind, I am using my wall magic clips, and I am using with the teeth going, uh, you know, to the skin. Um, what I do is I slightly open the lever. The purpose of this is just to set a guideline, and then I will clean everything up with with my trimmers and everything. I'm gonna take my triple zero using my Oster Octane and then I'm gonna throw on a one and a half universal guard. This is uh, something that I never done so I'm experimenting here. Um, I do know that the universal guard cuts a little bit longer than you know the, the wall one and a half and I also know that the triple zero cuts a little bit longer than a zero. I just gotta keep that in mind. So I'm gonna set the top guideline with that one and a half. I'm not gonna say, you know, you go up two inches, three inches or whatnot because that's all gonna depend on the client's head. Uh, in this case, uh, what I'm doing here is I am leaving a shelf quite a bit of weight along the perimeter of the head. So um, I am flicking out and making sure that that weight is still there. I'm not going straight up in the air, removing that hair. Right after that, once I have the top and the bottom guideline, I'm just gonna clean up the rest of the, uh, the skin. I'm gonna take my Slimline Pros and I'm gonna clean up the excess of the uh, of the hair and I am going just under that bottom guideline. Moving forward, I'm gonna set another guideline. I'm using a number one detachable blade here. A number one is equivalent to a, a 0.5 which is a half, you know, which is, you know, if you were to open the lever on the magic wall clips. Usually when I do a one and a half top line and then a zero bottom line, I take my 0.5s and I, so I set another guideline right in between the two lines. But because I know that the one and a half universal guard that I used cuts a little bit longer, I'm not going breaking that quite in the middle. I'm leaving myself a little bit of room just in case. So once I set that 0.5 line, we can start blending everything in. I'm gonna close my lever here and I'm just gonna start flicking out that bottom line and open the lever slightly and just work around that, that line. I've seen guys do, you know, they'll open the lever halfway, close it. Um, I like to work my phase from the bottom up, so I like to remove the line first and then slowly start opening the lever and just create that nice even blend. Also remember that if for some reason that bottom line is not coming out, you could always go back to your detailers, you could always go back to your trimmers and flick out the line. You know, if a line is not coming out, you can always go back to whatever number you were, you know, you used previous to that. All 
All right, so now we're gonna start working on that middle line right there. Remember, I didn't break that even in between the two lines. So I'm gonna take my number one guard and open the lever. A one with the uh, lever open is equivalent to a one and a half, but I know it cuts a little bit shorter than the universal guard. So I am just, uh, I'm just gonna pass the one and a half here just to kind of smooth everything out. And, and then I will, I'm gonna close the lever and continue working on that line. I do know that once I close the lever, the line is not gonna go away. I already know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw on the half guard and I'm gonna open the lever here and then I'm gonna start working on that line again. This is when you start to, you know, kind of like fine tune everything. Uh, close, I open the lever, I go back and forth. You know, you gotta look at the dark spots, try to blend everything in there. Fade is done. The fade is completed. So now I'm gonna start blending that that mid section right there, right? The client combs his hair on on this left side of his head. He combs it forward. He doesn't like parting it. And so I know that I need to leave a little bit of length there in order for him, in order to have enough length to comb forward. Otherwise, it's just gonna be too too tight. So I'm gonna take my texturizers or my blending shears, and I'm gonna work on that line, heavy line that you see there on the perimeter. I like to call this the mid section. So you have the, the sides, the back, the mid, and the top. I also know that towards the back, um, the blending shears is not going to completely blend everything in. So I do a quick pass on the back and then I take my, my regular shears. To, I like to use my seven and a half shears, do a scissor or comb, and I, I will blend everything in. The client doesn't like to have any sh crazy sharp lines. Just clean enough to, you know, for you to get the idea of, of, a, of a nice shape. But it's nothing crazy of a, of a shape up or anything like that. So I, I try to keep that in mind. Now moving towards the top, he likes a bit messy on the top, and he kind of combs it forward and then to the right side of his head. As you see here, I'm gonna comb the hair forward, wet it, comb it forward, and I'm gonna take about half inch sections and start working my way from the center of his head towards the right side of his head. Now I'm going to start cross checking everything just to make sure that everything is even and I do know that on the corner right there where the midsection and the top of the hair meets, I'm going to have to blend that in and I'm just going to do repeat the same process over on the other side. Now this is very important here because most people forget about this and it leaves a little bit of a, of a bulk over on the, on the left side of the head. Whenever you have this kind of style where the hair is not parted, combed forward and like swooshed to the side, you want to blend the back as much as possible. So, but you don't want to cut too much length off otherwise you're not going to have that length to comb over to the other side. So it's, it's like a finding a happy medium. So here I'm going to comb the hair. Um, forward and I'm gonna take small little diagonal sections Yeah, so this is the haircut. I mean the haircut is completed. It's about it now I'm gonna take my bronze series 5 the best foil shaver ever. This is the haircut guys Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace